This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and It is the 607th Tuesday of Professional Wrestling Celebration. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, live from the Sorgatron Media Studios here in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA. I'm Mike Sorgat Sorgatron on the Twitter. Is excited to be with you on this napper. Got the bow tie. Got the uh, Space Invaders bow tie. Eat your heart out, Calvin uh, Couture. Uh, and, uh, and, and we're ready. It's the Mayhemies. Some of us have dressed up a little bit. Yes, it's a bow tie and a hoodie. That's just how I roll. Uh, but anyways, uh, we have with us a, a, an entire crew here. First of all, Larry is with us in the studio. How are you doing, Sorg? He's so excited to be here, <laughs> obviously. Yes, I'm like, very excited to be here because I get a new pick for Mayhem Mania this week. Oh, yeah, the Alex Cars roll. It'll be fun to see what's going on there. Also with us. Whoops, that camera I didn't set up yet. Billy Johnson is with us. The Sorg, it's Mayhemy night. I, have, I wore my bling because I don't have a bow tie to bring. That's fine. That's good. That's good. And also with us, he dressed up in his... <laughs> it's Chad the Shad is back with us. He is not happy because this camera wasn't set up. <laughs> what's going on here? It's so, all right. It's all right. What's well, going on here? Well, I'll get a little zoom action on you. There you go. There you go. We'll just frame you. See there what happens. Go. See just, what happens oh, when you take boy. a vacation. There you yeah. go. Just forgotten. It falls apart. And also I come with here us. for the award show. <laughs> and also with <laughs> us on the line from a Johnstown, PA, is Bobby F. J. Town. I am lost tourist. How did I get in this box? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is the Mayhem Night? Mayhemy Night? You can check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Uh, please hit us up. Maybe at the email. Have good times. Good times. at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. I don't know. It might be uh, fi- might need to fix it. In the meantime, hit us up at WMS at sorgatronmedia.com. Sorry to everybody. WMS. Sorry everybody that <laughs> tried to or good times at wrestling or at sorgatronmedia.com. That'll work too. Uh, but we're trying to fix that for the. I know the mayhem mania has kind of got messed up this week for that. I thank you everybody that did catch the other uh, email address as well um also ch- you can subscribe to the show on itunes stitcher spreaker iheart radio google play music and video versions on youtube and facebook you can also i don't know join us here live every uh tuesday night at 9 p.m eastern time on the facebook uh on the facebook live and become part of the chat room and uh, interact with us there thank you to our patreon supporters patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show including at the fan of the show dollar level Bo. Woo! Ed Burke and Bobby F. J. Town at the Pocky Club five dollar level getting the gold is Occupy Pro Wrestling Christopher Bishop and the Pizza Club ten dollar level hanging in here with the bling because he blings at the Pizza Club. He is Billy Johnson. Yes, yes, yes I am. Sorry, <laughs> I wouldn't miss Mayhem Night for nothing. Absolutely not. The finest time of the year, and of course, uh, you can support the show patreoncom slash Show, where you can completely help us keep the lights on here in the studio. So it is Mayhemy Night, the the like I said, the fanciest night of the year. <laughs> and it is time we put the categories out. We shared them. You guys voted, and first of all, we do want to address. The best dressed of the year, the newest category in the Mayhemies. Well, I mean, you know, I'm here. Uh, no, no, Bobby, oh, Bobby, it's not, it's not you. Bobby, it's not you. It's, it's, it's no, not me. no. But well, you were in a running yep. for best bedroom on I, a I won, Bobby. <laughs> yes, uh, but no, we. Messiest we, better in the running, and and it was stepped up. People started coming in the studio this year. The new studio, they started surprisingly dressing up for us. Mm-hmm. I felt underdressed on my own show after a few of these. And uh, your 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 nominees were locked and loaded: Duke Davis and Gannon Jones, uh, Calvin Couture again. You know, kind of getting the bow tie going for him. And Dylan Bostic, all really represented here. And the winner is... Locked and loaded. Locked and loaded. And 
And for the special occasion for this brand new award, we have we have on the line here Duke Davis is joining us on the Facebook Live or a Facebook group chat. Oh, I think it's working here. You with us? Yes, yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Oh, we can hear you. We can hear you. Thank you for dropping in here uh, to give your acceptance speech. Uh, for the first ever best dressed on Wrestling Mayhem Show Award of the Mayhemies, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great, man. I'm, I'm glad you hit me up at a time where uh, my daughter's watching wrestling. I try not to interrupt her wrestling watching time, but hey, for this, this is a good for me. Usually, my tag team partner will be right beside me, but tonight he's unavailable. <laughs> So on behalf of Locked and Loaded, on behalf of Gannon Jones Jr., Duke Davis, we would like to say thank you to everyone that voted. And the fact that we won is awesome, especially because the two guys that was in it, Dylan Bostic, that guy is plush. You know what I mean? He's a, he was at WWE Performance Center past week. He dressed to impress. So did Calvin Couture. But we edged them out, so pretty humble for that. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, so tell me, what is the secret to your, uh, your, your, your style? Let's say. Secret to the style, man. We just, we just really try to uh, look the part. You know what I mean? Look like we belong. You know, look like a million bucks wherever we're at. Too bad right now. I don't like a million bucks. Like I'm in the comforts of my own home. I normally don't dress in a tie in my own home. I normally have a robe on. But <laughs> that's how the robo would be, be good for the show. That's a different kind of award, too, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Rock of my road. But then we try to, like I said, man, we try to, you know, lock the loaded in that main event, that main event uh, lifestyle, man. So we got to gotta make sure we look the part. Excellent, excellent. Well, uh, I'll let you go. I know you're, you're probably got a lot on your mind. You got a TLC match, I believe, this weekend, and IWC's reloaded, locked and loaded against uh, Upper Echelon. Um, also, uh, w w I, I gotta say, I gotta say, we did have Tom in the chat room saying he did uh, write in Shirley Doe uh, as best dressed as well. Uh, how do you feel about Shirley being uh, your your uh, write in competition here as well? Oh man, you should have won. That's my guy, man. Shirley Doe. And then he wore exactly what I told you he was going to wear, it too. Yeah, he did, too. <laughs> which, Honorable mention. For sure. which I, I think it was like camo car uh, cargo shorts and, and a T-shirt. Yeah, yeah, he's very comfortable here. That's my guy. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you this weekend at the, at the International Wrestling Cartel. Also, man, you get to see my cousin, too, Jackie Moon. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's coming out. Nice, nice, good. Uh, awesome. It'll be good to see you guys out there. Thanks a lot. Good. All right, and of course, everybody look up Duke Davis and Gannon Jones Jr. Locked and loaded on all the social medias. These guys have it. They have, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Go check them out. So, um, <laughs> and there's his, wait, wait, there's his daughter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a little something for the visuals. So thanks a lot, man. Um, all right. Well, we have other mayhemies to hand out here. A lot going on. And uh, let's see. Let's go down. I, I don't think we did not queue up the musical numbers unless Chad did you did you queue up the musical number? No, 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 that didn't no. happen. No, no, no. <laughs> so no, uh, I can't even can get, get I can't even get probably, cameras pointed get, on me. No, 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 no. Musicals. <laughs> we can get Pitbull. <laughs> we can get Pitbull. Anybody can get Pitbull, right? Worldwide, worldwide. So it's next, two hundred five live. <laughs> the next one, the next one is the Indie Mayhem show. Uh, interview of the year, and and you know we had uh, what uh, uh, about fifty weeks of interviews, so there was a lot to it. I think I listed about twenty of them. Uh, there were uh, you know a lot it was a twenty way tie. Yeah, that's right. It almost was actually. <laughs> that was a mistake. That was obviously a mistake. Uh, but anyways, uh, you know, and, and even runner ups include R. C. Dupree, include uh, uh, Kennedy Brink, who is now WWE's Jessica Carr, the referee. Uh, so uh, it you know. Going through this list, I couldn't believe the people we talked to in 2017. We talked to Shane Taylor, um, the first person I think that we had in studio while possessing a contract with one of the big companies. 
was uh, was Shane Taylor, right? And I know we've had DJ Z on, but always remote uh, while he was a part of Impact. Uh, so that was a big moment for us. Talking to Ricky Steamboat, Mr. Ken Anderson, um, you know, David Lagana. I mean, we, how many producers we had between Lagana, Eric Van Wagenen, uh, who did things like Amazing Race. Uh, in, and it was just an awesome, awesome lineup this past year. Uh, but the winner, the winner goes to... Eric Van Wagnon. Yeah. Yeah. He was a producer on Lucha Underground, Legends House, The Apprentice. We had a lot of fun talking with him. We even asked him how scary Donald Trump is. And maybe he gave that answer on, on the air. Maybe he didn't. But uh, it, it's it was a, it was really awesome to see that. And thank you everybody that's been a part of. It. Everybody's been on the show as part of that. Um, let's see next. Let's let's stay with the indie theme. This was a brainchild of Matt Carlin's, and, and he if you've seen the special, uh, he really really uh, hit up a lot of the uh, independent wrestling luminaries about how to uh, come up with uh, this list. Of about it was like ten ten people, right? Uh, mm -hmm. It is the Indie Wrestling US 2017 Award for Excellence in Independent Wrestling. Did you get all that? Did you get all mm -hmm. that, Bobby? Are you with, like are you the, still with us? The, the Montgomery Burns Award for Excellence. In <laughs> Remember that Simpsons? Award? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. And, and it was the Vincent oh, Kennedy McMahon Award for Excellence. <laughs> Outstanding achievement in the field of excellence. Yes, yes. But and it was, but it was something that he took seriously. Was their <laughs> dedication to indie wrestling? Mm -hmm. A lot of these guys, uh, names that were, of course, parts of things like Lucha Underground, Impact Wrestling through the year, including Pentagon Junior, uh, Penta L Zero M, uh, Matt Riddle, Keith Lee, Joey Janela, Ray Phoenix, uh, Jeff Cobb, Brian Cage. You know, guys like that. But the winner. <laughs> The Indie Wrestling.us 2017 Award for Excellence in Independent Wrestling goes to Joey Ryan. Hey! hey. So, Joe, this is a guy that, that hit, like, ma like, that mainstream independent wrestling potential. He has a Hot Topic t-shirt. Yeah. You know, at this is point. Is it a sensor bar? I don't think it's a sensor bar. No. <laughs> he should have one that's a sensor bar. I haven't been in a hot topic for a little bit. He should just have. I hope he doesn't bar. flip us with his dick. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> don't shake his hand, guys. Um, yeah. But uh, but no, I mean he's somebody that's. I mean, you know, from the past years, he's been a a uh, spokesperson for Pornhub of all things. You know, <laughs> he's been a, like maybe one of the most memeable wrestlers in indie wrestling lately. I mean, it's been it's been a really big year for him. Uh, so it's really cool. To see that so uh congratulations to him and now the wrestling mayhem show mayhemy for moment of the year now this included um not yet <laughs> started oh, drum early You're this, is, this, <laughs> this is apparently a write-in couture's great entrance entrances was, was a write-in um i just noticed uh, Doc Remedy is alive from Wrestling Mayhem Show 351. I, I think it was the first time he was on the show for a while. Uh, we did kill him off the show at one point. So yes, we literally, had, we you, did, saw, you saw him yes. dead around 7 a.m. Uh, what's that? We saw him dead around 7 a.m. Around 7 a.m.? Yeah, that's for Wrestle Kingdom. Oh, well, yeah, Wrestle Kingdom. Yeah, he did mm -hmm. pass out again. Uh, then we killed him again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lunchbox being informed of what he's missed in a year of wrestling on the uh, Christmas episode. That was fun. Jackson Argos taking over the Indie Mayhem show uh, right on that couch. There was a lot of Canada going on over there uh, on that couch. And we, way of course, too much Canada. There was way too much Canada. It was, it was pretty crazy. He um, all over it. Carrying the studio couch to the new studio. That was a fun day. Uh, thank you to the friends that uh, did help us uh, bring that up. But, and that was actually the runner-up because the winner of the Mayhem of the Moment of the Year is... Ow, my fingers. Sorg boops the internet. Yeah. Hey. Hey. You're a winner, Sorg. Yay. A winner is you. Yeah. I think we should have an acceptance speech from someone who remembers this event. Yeah, yeah. Can Producer somebody, Missy. <laughs> Producer Missy, uh, you probably remember the most of this thing happening. It is a moment that will live in infamy because it's caught on video and it's circulated the internet. And it is akin to 
puppies and kittens <laughs> with sword booping the internet's nose. Yes, and now everybody references it around me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> question is does the internet try to boop your nose sorg for and for those this is the time when the sexy talented dudes got me plastered and my wife got me plastered live on the internet on the std's christmas special (laughs) three my wife yes and finally and all of you guys were in the hat that have been on the show uh this past year the wms co-host of the year mayhem he goes to Producer Missy. So for all of those times that Sorg has forgotten me, I am so happy and so I I love the fans that they have not forgotten me. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you to the fans. You're the best. Around. Well deserved. If I say if I say so myself, well deserved. There you go. There you go. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you, everybody that voted and participated in this. Now you're on our spam list. But no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, but no, no, but seriously, thank you, everybody. You know, it's just kind of a, a recognition of what you guys liked in the year. Um, oh, by the way, honorable mention, we did not set this up, but there is a pronouncement that Billy Johnson is the Mayhem Rookie of the Year. <laughs> I'll try to win it again next year. Two times. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, All actually, in favor. Is it? Aye. 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 Yeah. Aye. Well, wait, wait, wait. Thank, is thank this you. Billy? How many times have you been here in studio for a show? This will be my fourth time in studio. Your fourth time. Chad, you remember what the role was, right? Co-host. Co-host. Official. Officially mm-hmm. a co-host of the Wrestling Mayhem show. So I'm eligible for next year's Mayhemies. I think so. Yes, absolutely. 2018, right? 2018. Yeah. 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 Missy, I'm coming Mm -hmm. after the title. There you go. There you go. (laughs) He's been here. He's he's put in his time, and now he's in the running. Thank you, Billy, for being a part of this. Thank you for having me. Yes. And thank you also, Duke Davis, for uh, dropping in and and, uh, giving giving his his, uh, his, his speech uh, for us and uh, representing you. For that, good luck at IWC's Reloaded this weekend uh, and uh, see them beat people up in person or later on IndieWrestling.us. Uh, <laughs> what, you okay, Bobby? I'm just laughing because you're like, beat people up. That's what they do. That's his job description. They're, they're very large people that beat up people that are smaller that, that than is, them usually. That is in their job description. It is, that is. I think that's except, it. Except one of the guys this weekend's. Almost as tall as they are. Oh, no, no, he's taller. No, I <laughs> That's think. their mission statement. PB Smooth is uh, like he's, seven feet tall and and still like throws a mean Booker T uh, uh, axe kick yes, there. So, uh, But anyways, thank you so much, everybody that participated in that, of course. So fixing fixing the internet. Um, <laughs> from there, the, the big Boop. news, the big news this week. Oh, oh, now I'm duplicating myself. But anyways. But anyways. <laughs> um, the big news this week, I feel, and I feel the one that the most of us here will get excited about is the new uh, Lucha Underground. I'm trying to remember how many on the show are caught up now I think about it because Mad Mike didn't make it. You're not. But all right. you, we've, all, not we've all watched the Lucha Underground. And I have was, watched some of it. And it was, yes. and, but it all, it's all been in the same soundstage right there in Boyle Heights, mm-hmm. legitimately in Boyle Heights. A real place. And also, we've seen pictures of it on like Dancing with the Stars or something that, or the, you've got talent. It's like the same, the same place has been used because you can know you you see the windows behind them, and you're like, wait, mm-hmm. that's the temple, and everything's gone, of course, right? Right. Um, and this was something that was, I think, along with the budget cuts that happened with the new. They're basically, you know, they got the new seasons, but there's going to be significant changes due to those budget cuts, and they got a new new place. Um, also they, they announced that their schedule is going to be, um, a little more, they're doing three days. They're doing Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I think they're going to be doing more during the, during the week. Uh, I mean, I, I'm sorry, during the month and, uh, no, that's mine. Uh, and it's going to be interesting. They, they moved to downtown LA I'm trying to pull up the link. I know somebody had sent it to me here, uh, in a new ice themed apparently this was a cold storage place sweet 
<laughs> which and even in the article on Uprox, um, they did they did reference uh, whether there's going to be an appearance from Glacier. That is not confirmed. I'll pull this up here for you guys on video with us. I uh, say a good bit of previews going on here. So I, I'm I'm curious to see what happens for them, kind of explaining, um, you know, what's going to happen, you know, because it, it's a very obvious change. It's been reconfigured a little bit. Uh, there's a uh, railing that now goes around, uh, I think, about the entire place. So uh, they said they can get more fans in that way now. The band's going to be off the, the talent stand. out of the stands. Keep the talent out of the <laughs> stands. Yeah, that'll happen. There's a balcony going around the entire thing. The, yeah, oh, an upper balcony. There's a balcony. Yeah, there's an upper balcony. Jumping off yeah. of? Uh, so that'll be interesting to see what's going up. Yeah. Uh, so, so the guy in this article, which I think was probably Brandon Stroud. Yeah, it is. Uh, he had asked them if uh, Glacier was going to be a part of this to that <laughs> point. Um, oh, I lost my place here now. Uh, the, they, they would neither confirm nor deny. So, uh, Joseph, friend of the show, and I, and I believe we we are uh, in the process of scheduling for um, Chris to come back on this or maybe the indie uh, mayhem show here mm, soonish. We'll say, uh, and we'll see what what we can pick out of his brain uh, going into uh, the new season. Uh, so. Uh, but uh, it, it, it's really cool. I, I like that there's a new vibe to it. So, you know, and I'm sure they're going to do a lot with that. Um, there is a mention here but from DeJoseph about uh, that the season is going to – well, one challenge they've had is to make it more efficient, of course, and uh, they're going to kind of expand the universe a little bit more and go some different places. So I think that's a pretty cool thing that's going on with them. So it'll be interesting to see. Um, these guys have been really creative going on. Uh, so it's it's pretty cool. I don't know what do you see. What do you think, Bobby, as somebody that that has watched a little bit of uh, the first season? I think they're gonna freeze Matanza in a giant ice block. Yeah, and right. just like slowly, he's gonna thaw throughout the season. Mm-hmm. Like uh, jo- Joey jo- Joey uh, Mercury's gonna like hold up the uh, hair dryer and just dry him off sl- slowly. So yeah, not Joey Mercury. I I don't know what I'm talking about. Joey Ryan, we got you. Joey we, Ryan, we yeah. got you, Bobby. The, the the person that we announced earlier that won the award for the best indie wrestler. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one. Uh, yeah. No, yeah, definitely looking forward to it. So I think people will be pelted with frozen bagel bites. Frozen bagel bites. Nice. No, no, not when pizzas nice. on a bagel. You can eat pizza anytime. And and freezing. No, 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 mm-hmm. no. No, it'll, it'll be cool to see up, and I'm hoping we get uh, someone's getting the opportunity to get out there. Uh, once again, check out the new temple. Uh, so I'm really glad I got a chance when I when I did to, to see the old one. So, all right. Uh, well, hey, want to give a shout out to our friend Slice on Broadway. Uh, speaking of pizza, that's not on a bagel, but still very, very delicious. And other things. I know uh, you guys were. I know. I know. Dutters was marveling at their chicken salad earlier. <laughs> uh, yes, the, their their delicious buffalo chicken salad. Mm-hmm. Uh, as amazing as their pizzas are, I could eat salads there if I really wanted to each time that we went, mm-hmm. which I've been doing the last few times. So and there's a lot to them. They're huge. Yeah. Uh, Dutters and I literally shared one, and both of us were just like, "Oh my god, there is so much salad, but it is so good." Uh, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Check them out if you're in the neighborhood here in Beachview, over in Carnegie, PA. PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates and East Liberty. Uh, let them know uh, that the mayhem sent you. PGH underscore Slice on the Twitter. Disclaimer, please do not actually kick the door down. No, uh, you, can, you can kick the door. No, 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 no. Oh, jeez. Place your foot upon the frame of the door. Not the door frame, but the window. The outside the, the frame. <sighs> Give it a nice swift push. Swift. A swift one. But firm. But firm. Swift foot. I, I, yes. pre- I prefer to super kick it, but. No, okay. no, 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 no. And then no, violently no. trash the store, <laughs> telling them mayhem sent you. No, no, Demand no. Demand no. pepperoni immediately. <laughs> Perfect. Chop pepperoni. chicken with your hands. Anyways, I thought it was. Because I don't think we have on this show too much over the last few weeks. But I think it's time to catch up with the Mix Mac Challenge. I haven't watched it. You okay. haven't watched it. <laughs> I guess you can say reviews are mixed. 
<laughs> match. Oh, oh, Yay. Well done. Oh. well done. Oh, feels good to be back. Feels good to be back. Chad, have you I, been watching it? Yeah, yes. Okay. Yes. What, what, what do you think so far? I, I enjoy it. Mm-hmm. I enjoy it. It's, it's like a bizarro alternate universe in which everybody's just kind of happy and then they just <laughs> wrestle each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, like it's, I said. Oh, wait, wait, oh, sorry, what's that, Bo- uh, Bobby? I was going to say, like I said, they're, they're in, the, in the vignettes that they've been showing, like little bit backstage passes, they've been humans. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, pretty much. The yeah. wrestling is, eh, it's all right. But, you know. The wrestling's sufficient. Yeah. But the uh, the the character building and the the duo videos have been wonderful. amazing, amazing, just wonderful. I I mean even even some of them that went out the first week, like seeing Goldust and Mandy Rose, yeah, was great. Mm-hmm. It's something I kind of hope they continue with as as a pairing. I uh, remember her with him instead of Absolution. Yeah, yeah, it, it makes more sense, right? Yeah, absolutely, mm-hmm. definitely. Um, was that Absolution? Absolute? What's that? Absolutely, absolutely, absolution, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I <laughs> just landed that way. Good, good one, Sorg. Uh, yeah, I meant to do that. I absolutely meant to do that. Uh, no, yeah, it's year. been a lot of fun. Uh, you know, the the Alexa Bliss and uh, Braun. What's Sorg's favorite pairing? vodka? The most Absolute. adorable tag team ever. <laughs> so, uh, do you feel like this is? Do you feel like when they're doing this, they're kind of making um, a matchmaker out of these teams too, a little bit? Because I don't <laughs> know. I feel like Bailey is trying to get. You know, Elias's attention. Like they're trying to woo each other. Like they're. They gave. Yeah. The, they yeah. gave the. They gave the WWE wheel, to a fan fiction writer, and they're like, "Ship all you want, <laughs> ship whoever you want, and we'll make it. We'll make a show around that." Yeah, exactly. Bobby, your phone. The, the Bobby uh, phone's, phone's ringing. ringing. Are you going to answer that? He must save no. his. He must save, the town. Yes. Is it the Bobby? Bobby phone. Johnstown needs you. I'm actually a sham wow. You just lay me down in water and I just suck it all off. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a pretty good superpower. Oh, wow. That's why, yeah, it's, it's just call me the sham wow. Bobby F. Sham wow. <laughs> Bobby F. Sham wow. Don't ask oh. me about the other products that Vince offers, but the nut thing, <laughs> chopping your nuts. <laughs> What the, the slap the slap chop? Oh, oh the slap, slap chop! Yeah, yeah, the slap yeah, yeah. chop. Oh, well, God. there's like the the nut <laughs> chop now. But oh, what happened? We're making jokes here. Stuff's so falling down. Yes, exactly. Uh, but anyways, oh no, we dropped our board. That's okay. Absolutely. It's okay. We're fine. We're fine. No, it's been fun, and I know, and, and, and you know, it's cool to have Beth Phoenix on there, and, and it's been fun and and just a quick thing, right? Yeah. Uh, and a nice. Facebook, the, but it's the, for a Facebook audience. It is. It is. That's, mm-hmm. that's where they're they're making it nice and mm. cheery. It, but it's weird that they brought the the graphics pa- package over. And I think somebody in the chat room last week was talking about how how horrible this is. Uh, Dave, right now, do we like the words on screen on the promos? Some of them scare me. Some of them scare you. Uh, the large like, font ones. It scared. It, it worried me when there was a promo. And then after the break, we saw the promo, which I know just happened live, and they put the words on the promo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What are we doing well, with this? It's it's well, a weird aesthetic choice. <laughs> okay. Not when Nakamura comes out. Why does it scroll Rockstar on? I hate that. Okay. It's like a that, giant rock star that goes across the screen. That, that is kind of stupid. I didn't see this. I haven't noticed this yet. Oh my god! No. They did it like a couple weeks ago. I saw. Okay, all right. And then that was the same week that the Usos had the 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 jail cell door close on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the yeah, middle yeah. of the ring. Yeah. Like somebody had too much time with After Effects. Somebody, no, no, no. Fun. Somebody <laughs> bought a graphics package. Yeah. You just tested it out. And it just this like like the intern came up and was like, "This looks cool." And it's like. Or, Come on. Or, or the it's CEO the same, who came it's up. The and same, like, yeah, yeah. It's the same fan fiction writer that's doing mix, the mix match challenge. <laughs> it's it's somebody it's like Vince just got iMovie and and is editing the shows now. Star uh, wipes. It, star it's, wipes it's, for everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just gonna star wipe the whole <laughs> wrestling show. You guys are the highest production and the bar holding out the hand. Uh, as far as uh, as far as professional wrestling, Sorry. and now you're just regressing. Well, we do know that they just use clip art or clip art backstage. So 
We do <laughs> know that from an unconfirmed source. No, it's been on the network. You've oh, yeah, that. it has been on the network. <laughs> Actually, no, we did <laughs> see it on the Kevin Owens special, didn't we? Yeah. The 365. Just yeah, yeah. Didn't so. they just let Drew Gulak run with uh, PowerPoint? There you go. There you go. I mean, just they probably do it just as well, right? Uh, but... <laughs> No, that's been that's been an interesting development. Um, but in, in for a company that's been on social media for so long that they're they're kind of doing that 1.0 thing with it, it feels. So I, I feel like they they had to sit down with Facebook and this is what came out. Yeah. Uh, yes, producer Missy, um, co-host of the year, producer Missy. They have to try to compete with TNA somehow. Compete. <laughs> Compete? Think with DNA? No, they're 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 lowering their bar. <laughs> you mean you mean they're creating the artificial lowering, they're, they're they're artificial the competition? They're they're yes. trying the they're trying to give TNA the benefit of the doubt. Guys, guys, we're too good. We got to bring this around. <laughs> um, oh yes. Playing down to their competition. Yes. Yep. Uh, why, Ooh. hello, fellow kids. How about those dope <laughs> graphics? Says Dave. I accurate, do like the accurate. raw graphics now. You do now the raw graphics. Like, I like they, they, the, the raw general raw, I, I, clean graphics. What is your problem with those? The W in raw. Oh come on! Okay, the font. <laughs> well, I don't other than the font. That, that W like it's so sharp and tall. My problem compared to the other letters, it's so. Ah. My problem is the clean white background. I that, I love the clean white background. It's stupid. It looks oh. like they were lazy and didn't want to put a background on it. Yeah, but I. <laughs> I, I think I think when you look at that versus like more recent graphics, it's, they've been too busy too, right? Do you know who loves <laughs> the clean white backgrounds? Mm. Alex Cars, who does our wonderful graphics for the Mayhem Mania. Oh, I bet he absolutely mm. loves it. Because I'm sure it makes his job a heck of a lot easier for what he's doing for us. No, no, no. Actually, that's Tony Garza. That's Tony Garza. Oh, Tony Garza. Uh, you sorry, mean, sorry, you sorry, mean sorry, Tony yeah. Garza with the WrestlingRevolution.net and that not Alex be... Cars with OccupyProWrestling.com? That would be the one. I was looking at a <laughs> tweet from, yeah, from. Uh, I mean, all amazing Alex graphics Cars, people, but, yes. but uh, I'm just saying. Sorry, Tony. <laughs> I, I like it, but I'm a, I'm a sucker for a clean white aesthetics. Yeah. That's, I yeah. Just, that's stuff I like. You loved the Helvetica movie, didn't you? I, I like uh, <laughs> fonts. The uh, mm, Oblivion fonts. movie. Oblivion. Because <laughs> it was it was all like white. Are you confusing that with the Cloverfield paradox? No, no, <laughs> oh. uh, no, no. no, no, no. Just, <laughs> this would be the less confusing just, version. Oh, yeah. They should just use the background of the Barack Obama painting that's all leaves. <laughs> also weird. Not a subject for this show, but also very weird to me, right? Sh- yeah, out of left field. Like, like, uh, like Michelle definitely won out when, as far as the painting game went. Um, I, I like that Homer Simpson meme. Give me that. Bush. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to... Can you animate it? So I slowly just drift into the back of it and leave. <laughs> I think like, that's he wanted. Like we can't do uh, that. It's uh, it's not like one of those three D. You know, your painting's not going to move. Or you think he, didn't, he didn't understand. Maybe this. maybe, maybe, it, maybe see, it will. You can see Joe Biden in the background. Maybe it's <laughs> like yeah. It's just like maybe it's like those, through those the bush. yeah those <laughs> old school vinyl it's like three like D. You just shift the Joe painting Biden. as you walk by the painting. It. You can see Biden. Oh, oh. hey. Oh. If you cross and if you cross your eyes, you're like, why can't look at that? I still haven't seen that sailboat. Get it out. Still haven't seen the sailboat. Holy crap. The one the one thing about the Mixed Max Challenge is... <laughs> oh, hey, back to our topic. this back here. <laughs> hey, this, this is something that... We've come I, full circle. I've, I've tried to watch it, but here they're so popular, the WWE is, <laughs> that as I try to watch this, there's just shit flying across the screen. Hearts, faces, <laughs> just shit <laughs> flying across the screen all the time, and I don't... I can't see stuff. I go full it's, screen it's to a, avoid the chat room. It's a little hard. Yeah, the way I was viewing it, I couldn't. Did you click the angry face button? I couldn't try it. No, <laughs> I wasn't contributing to that madness. I, from the way I was watching, I couldn't figure out like, like how do I, how do I get these, <laughs> these smiley faces off my screen? Because <laughs> it's just a barrage of just Quick question. yellow stuff do you across like, the screen. Do you like wrestling? Do you like sw- sw- wrestling with swarms of angry faces over it? Do you like Do you like wrestling? I mean, do you, wait, wait, wait. Do you like wrestling? Do you hurt wrestling? Do you do you wow face wrestling? Do you cry face wrestling? Do you shed tears? Do you all at once? It's interesting because you can you can just 
gauge how people feel about the match just visually. Are you saying so on you a scale see. from heart to angry face, how much do you like wrestling? <laughs> Disturbed. I am, yeah, although, although this is I am, I, wait, am, wait, 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 wait. We're on to clenched, clenched teeth face. Uh, <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like the pain God scale. God damn it. Can't see anything. Now, when Alexa Bliss comes out, do you send the flames up? Yeah, mm-hmm. there's, it's fire. It's like the paint. It's a wildfire across the screen. Uh, so so, and then water drops. I, wanna, no, I, I, I don't think it's water though. No, 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 no. no. There's lots of water just flying across uh, the. And, Brock Lesnar sweat. And, and uh, what are these purple fruits? Purple <laughs> fruits going across. You damn kids. And your emotive emoti- thingy. I don't oh. think you're watching the right thing. I don't think Blame. we're talking about the same thing anymore. <laughs> wait, 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 wouldn't it be interesting to just like watch like Raw on Facebook Live and just? No, I don't want to watch no, Raw no, on no, Facebook You don't want to see that. But then John see that come out. Commercial break and a little BRB and like big block letters. <laughs> wait, yeah, yeah Brandon, 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 has the, Brandon has the response. Just swipe right. <laughs> My friend. There you go. Actually, that is the answer, isn't yeah. it? They explain yeah. it at the it beginning is. of the match. I don't yep. know. You can swipe. You seriously, you can swipe like right or I don't know. Michael Cole's talking about swiping. swiping Michael right. Cole should not be talking about that stuff. But he's the one. Listen, listen. The old people in the audience that don't understand this new fangle thing oh. are going to listen to Michael Cole because he's old <laughs> and out of touch like them. Michael Cole taught me how to download the WWE Network. Yes, he did. No, yes, he did. I didn't know how to do it. it you was just a, use if it your phone. You download the app on your Apple TV and your Roku and your Samsung TV uh, and, da, 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 yeah. da, and your, even your Xbox One. I don't know what that is. He went from covering wars to tell us how to download an app. You know. And then he taught us how to tout. <laughs> yes. No, that was Daniel Bryan. That was Daniel Bryan. That was Dan- and it's still, still, it's still only nine ninety nine a month. Nine ninety nine. Yes. But there's also, I mean, obviously you're involved in this during the Mixed Mac Challenge, hmm. right? It's happening uh, in about 15 minutes here uh, as of this recording. Um, oh, no, I got to go. Nope, later. <laughs> uh, got to fire up my emoji cons. It is, <laughs> it is on the WWE Network. You can watch it on the WWE Network. Can so, we use bitmojis? Right. Right, right. And you don't have the long, like, five, six Thank minute God. logo playing with the music yeah. that I don't want to move because it keeps crashing my Chromecast. Yeah. You know, that thing. You know, it's like, oh, that, that song's stuck in my head, isn't it? So, anyways. I just had to get that off my chest. Good, good. Bring it back. Good. I'm glad. I'm just glad. Just something. So no, I don't want to watch Raw on Facebook Live. <laughs> Man. No. Could you imagine watching I have a nice that TV. Like virtual reality and just having those watch. faces fly at you? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, no, I don't want to watch it in virtual reality either. <laughs> there you go. Unless, unless <laughs> I get to view the match in the eyes of Mike Chioda. Because oh. if I can watch the match as Mike Chioda, I'm in. You have to get down and do this. Oh, it, I mean, that'll be uh, – <laughs> my body will have to get used to the sudden jerk of going down for a three count. <laughs> it's going be like I'm falling. But uh, I, I'm too. sold on that. <laughs> or a manager. Hey, TNA had the uh, ref cam for the longest time. No, don't don't ref tell it. me. I don't want TNA. Sorg. And that's why they're in last place. I don't want TNA. <laughs> All right. You know who's not not going to be doing that? Who's not going to be uh, oh, tna things up? Our friends at IndieWrestling.us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Including this week. Um, actually, this week, a brand new... Uh, promotion joined us and what? actually well we were out there doing the production there for rise wrestling uh down in uh including one of the best dress cannons of the year gannon jones jr uh was a part of I that to go there. you yeah bobby you need to go down there uh, I need to go there these guys uh you know these these guys have had a hot first year as a promotion and it's really cool to see that and and see them grow uh and uh and be part of that they got a really cool venue uh down there and again that's a um you know part of now indie wrestling.us uh so check it out 799 uh here's a little bit you guys on video a little bit of sean phoenix and christian black going on there this is this is the coolest venue because it's it's an old movie theater uh as part of the laurel mall so and they put a new screen up so there's a giant screen over the ring that they're playing a lot of their videos and everything it has a very kind of reverse Titan Tron kind of feeling to it. And, and it's, it's just a really cool uh, closed space and, uh, and they're filling it 
guys, good wrestling. It's a novel concept, uh, and these guys are doing a great, great, great time. Do they have emoticons? I, no, no, it's no, a nice no, 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 clean no. screen. It's a nice clean it? screen, but okay. maybe Good. they'll be on Facebook Live sooner or later. Actually, Chad, God damn it! Would you watch? <laughs> <laughs> but but you know, there's a difference though. Oh, you damn. watch the Mixed Max Challenge with thousands and millions of people. Yeah, yeah that is but, true. But, that I is mean, true. the great thing about indie wrestling is not as many people are watching it. Right. L- but, like I you, said, WWE's popularity is so is so high that. Versus, There's so many people you know on those videos that that's all I see. If you're tired of all the emoticons while you're watching Mixed Match Challenge, right, you know what I'm gonna do Chad, this you just go watch some Rise Wrestling on IndieWrestling.us. And see like three just, emoticons. Guaranteed about 99% less emoticons in this production. I'm just going to start throwing emoticon so, pillows in the ring. God the damn others, it, Bobby. The <laughs> other sell is that it's... Legit wrestling fans who like you just want to watch the wrestling. That's right. And they don't yes. want to watch the BS. Uh, so yes, you you, you, you would be surprised. I, I was at the show with you, and first hand endorsement. Yeah. It it was amazing. I mean the the wrestling was great. The fans were awesome. There was and especially the kids, for for a three hour show for kids to stay stay that focused and that into shows, it was amazing to hear them yelling and screaming at the end of a forty minute draw match, wanting more at ten o'clock at night. Absolutely. Absolutely. 40 minutes. It's a 40 minute draw <laughs> match. And usually you're like, oh, God, these guys, these 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 independent amateur professional wrestlers uh, went 40 minutes. That's got to be a snooze fest. And it was a lot of fun. Everybody was really into it. So a lot of fun working with those guys. Check it out and check out for future releases over at IndieWrestling.us. Of course, carrying all of our friends as well, including Premier Championship Wrestling, IWC, RWA, uh, the old prime wrestling and documentaries as well. And uh, and all that kind of stuff. And of course, uh, also, we are including um, uh, we were just recently hanging out over a Black Diamond Wrestling in West Virginia. Um, got to shoot some of their show that is uh, going to be going uh, matches already coming up on our Indie Wrestling US Facebook page, too. And this month, a special uh, if you're looking for something to do with your special someone for Valentine's Day, why don't you sit down and watch some wrestling with them? You can get a DVD or a digital download. The digital download will come a little bit quicker since Valentine's Day is tomorrow as of this recording. Uh, you get a code If you get a, a digital download or DVD to watch with him or her, get a code for another title for 50% off. Head over to IndieWrestling.us and redeem now. Uh, so go check that I can't out. Appreciate it. What's that? Your cat. cat you're gonna it. watch. You're gonna watch Rise Wrestling with your cat. Yes, I will. What are you getting for the second title at fifty percent off, Bobby? Something from IWC. There you go. There you go. Super indie. Super indie. There you go. Hot yeah. seller. Hot seller. All right. We'll be back with a big question, a surprise topic, and more after this. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. Actually, sell Teddy Ruxpins again. They're creepy as fuck. Mm-hmm. Would you like me to read you a story? About your <laughs> death? I used to have a caterpillar friend, but I killed him. <laughs> Wrestling Mayhem Show. <laughs> Teddy, Teddy Mayhem Show. Uh, of course, we got, of course, uh, Sorotron here as well as Shad the Shad still hanging out. Behind the microphone, <laughs> you're yeah, you're, you're hiding behind the microphone. You're, oh yeah, bit. it's completely. Well, covered there you face. are, uh, just like is that wheelie chair. Hello, uh, uh, as well as Larry in the studio. Hello. Did I call you by your proper name earlier? I don't did I, did I re- we'll edit did it I, out. Did I reveal? Fix your, it in post. Did I reveal the K-Fame home sword. name of Earthquake? I don't think in it the is. first half. I, I, think, I think we're safe. I don't know. Okay, uh, origin story uh, obfuscated. Earthquake. Billy Johnson joining us. Now a co-host of the Wrestling Mayhem Show. <laughs> and, of course, Mad Mike joining us from Poughkeepsie, New York, the only Mayhemmer with a future Endeavor letter from the WWE. Yeah. You all right? Guys, guys, I know we had the Mayhemies already. Um, I want to make a strong push for Mayhemies 2019 for Girthquake to be the co-host of the year. <laughs> Not Larry. Not Larry. <laughs> Girthquake. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I will. I, I usually vote for myself every year. <laughs> I did. Next year, I will be voting for Girthquake. <laughs> yeah, it was. Pretty- is that is this going to be the Harambe uh, for 
for president needs... thing. <laughs> Justice for Girthquake. That's it. Justice he he needs Earthquake. a tag team partner named Slyphoon. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby of J-Town Bobby of J-Town with us As you can hear (laughs) You guys guys, Of course we talked about Pseudo-natural disasters (laughs) (laughs) We talked a bit In the first half about Lucha Underground Moving to a new location The Icebox for season 4 And I thought especially since Mad Mike's here We can ask What is your Fantasy book Around this new ice-themed Lucha Underground. I know we kind of teased one before. And I feel like Mike will probably have one first. Oh, God. Uh, I put him on the spot. Welcome to the show, Mike. We're we're starting off hot, or or we're starting off cold. I mean, Um, I got an easy one if you want. Oh no no, Sorg, Sorg, I have this. Okay, believe me. And I, I've been thinking. Of, I've been thinking about. I'm not going to be sad if it. everybody brings up Glacier. Um, Sorg, not only am I bringing up Glacier, there's a new stable. There's a new stable. I think you messaged me this coming. Didn't you? Yes, there is a new stable coming for Pentagon Junior. It's going to be the Cold Blooded Tribe, Sorg. Mm-hmm. Cold Blooded Glacier. Chili Willy, Ice Train, <laughs> Chili Willy. Too, co- too Cold Scorpio, um, Too Cool, they're going to be in there as well. Sorg, literally anyone you can, and, and you know who the kicker is? You know I, who the kicker I, is? Ice Train. Bang McFrost. Sorg, 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 do you know who the kicker is? The guy that's going to take the title from Pentagon Jr. Do you know who this is? Pentagon Dark, excuse me. Stone Cold Shark Boy. <laughs> okay. Budget cuts. Budget cuts, guys. Budget cuts. We're gonna be stone put, putting those cold ideas on ice. Shark boy. You know this is a side note. Give this, me a shell, yeah. This <laughs> shell, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it's happening. It's happening because you know who else has a dark master sword? A master of the ice. Stone cold shark boy does. You know who that master is? It's a motherfucking glacier. That's right. We're going to get Glacier versus Vampiro, motherfucker. WCW 1998. That's what I want to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the emoticons now. <laughs> Only if it's a And you know who's going to comment on that match? Who, who's Mike that? Tenay. <laughs> Mike Tenay. <laughs> Adjust the tracking. You need a, a buried alive and soft ice cream match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, just the, you just flip the things down. Just soft serve. Yeah. <laughs> You've been soft served. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else have a booking? I was just going to pair uh, uh, Glacier in an untuck <coughs> match with uh, 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 PJ Black if he still has any fingers left. Aww. Aww. Hmm. I, well, I didn't. I haven't heard his status since the when Christopher Joseph was saying, "Yeah, so you got some stuff." Are um, um, Phoenix and Drago still alive? Uh, in canon, yes, I think so. Okay. Well, are they not in real life? Well, 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 <laughs> no, I do have the. Quote. I don't know Mexico, man. Uh, <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I, I, I would like wow. to see those two in a match where the loser gets frozen into a block of ice. Like, yeah, that's something that could completely happen. Yeah. Somebody's I'm getting... Sure, by the I'm way... I'm pretty sure Rey Mysterio is going to get frozen. Rey Mysterio is frozen in Carbonite. Yeah. By the way, you... I'm pretty... First of all, you know somebody's getting thrown in a freezer and left there. Second of all... Prince Puma, that's how you I, get rid of him. Is I'm, it Jessica? Is Jessica getting thrown in the freezer? All right, I was going to say, this, gonna is a, this, this is a bit we did very early on this podcast. <laughs> now, now, if you guys watched Punky Brewster... God. Wait, what? You know, not to get into fr- you know not to get into refrigerators. <laughs> wow. That's one thing I learned from watching Punky Brewster. You don't go into refrigerators while you're playing hide and go seek wait, wait. because you can suffocate. Where's Mel Mascaris been? Did we he check the fridge? In freezer. <laughs> you, you know what would be neat for them to do is uh, any, everyone who they kill off, they just freeze them in a block of ice and hang them around the arena. Oh, jeez. No, serious. Oh, like, my just God. Have, like, like demolition man. No, seriously. Like <laughs> like like people that they kill off or whoever, like that's their punishment. They've been frozen and then they're just like 
like circling the well, yeah, like Demolition Man. Yeah, the frozen blocks. Yeah, maybe. I like it. I like it. No, but maybe you do that. They're not the killed ones, but they're the ones that were yeah, like, like this, this ice tribe kind of takes like over the, yeah. the missing the missing ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, the, and then you do this. And Although then, honestly, if we put Alberto Del Rio in a block of ice, it would probably help a lot of problems. Yeah, probably, yeah. probably. Um, but but you do this, and then like there's the reveal. Something happens. They melt. Attack their captor. They either get thawed they, um, and uh, resign for the next season, or go. they don't resign. And so I wow, never breaks. thought that one out. I guess. What's so up, Mark? One 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 our one our booking decision. Um, and <clears throat> I have to quote uh, one of the greatest movie villains of all time i'm paraphrasing of course what killed the luchasaurus the ice age oh no don't no oh, that's yeah. my favorite oh, yeah, batman that, that, oh man that's batman. the greatest batman is wrong with it it was like it was like watching a comic book it was so ridiculous yeah, this very, could never happen in real very life. bad comic one. book yeah oh, what's up bobby uh, Taya Valkyrie and Ivelisse are going <laughs> to reenact the entire plot of frozen Bobby, I'd watch the shit out of that. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Important question. Who's Olaf? Um, Marty the Moth. Yes! <laughs> Cosine! <laughs> Cosine all the way across. Cosine all the way across. This is great. Okay. Mask Rita Sagrada, maybe. He, nah, he's already the white rabbit. He's already the white Marty. rabbit. I go with Marty. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. No, Marty. no, no. You you struck gold with Marty. Marty being okay. Olaf saying I like warm hugs, then flapping yeah. his hands real creepily. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. All right. From the couch, from me in the studio. Do you guys have any uh, uh, cold booking decisions? <laughs> Core, I, got, uh, I got one. You got one, Chad. The Chad. This is what we do. An ice. This is how an we do. Ice block cage match. Where the mat, where the ice melts, the longer the match goes on. Hmm. I don't understand. It's just, a, it's just like uh, ice blocks instead of a cage. And what happens when the ice They're melts? Yeah, hey, you have weapons outside or something. You do something. There's fun. weapons in the ice. So Ooh. it's the extreme. Ooh. Yes, could it's be, the extreme could igloo match. Right, oh. right. Extreme you have to match. like rub your opponent's face on it so it melts. Have faster. we tagged Chris or Joseph in this yet? Because we have ideas for him. No, we. But but you know what's gonna happen, right? Hmm. Someone's gonna get their tongue stuck to the ring post. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's gotta happen. It, it, and then you then you get happen, your guys. you get your ice climbers and pickaxe and you climb um, the wall. Bobby, Bobby, we have an alternate suggestion in the chat room. Tina Key says Ricky Mandel will be a decent Olaf. Okay. I, I I think I think she's on something there too, but I, I really like um, Mario the Moth as Olaf <laughs> Larry, <laughs> because he Larry? he barely knows how moths work. He definitely doesn't know how snowmen work. <laughs> Larry, Billy, you guys have anything? Oh, I I gave my suggestion. I I can't follow up anything that, that you guys have already talked about. <laughs> All right, uh, so it'll be interesting to see. And as usual, because I feel like we've we've contributed before. To the creative team of Rich Underground, as many, as many times as we've had him on, because I don't know how many times Mike's, uh, Mike or or Matt, Matt Carlin says uh, suggests something, and you hear Chris to Joseph going, oh, "That's a good idea." Where's our Hennessy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's when you know. That's when you know. Hey, I'm glad we could do our little part <laughs> to help out Rich Underground. So it'll be interesting to see. Can't wait for it to come back. Can't wait to see. Um, additional thought I had mid midstream here. <laughs> We're gonna say additional. Consideration paid for by the following. <laughs> <laughs> Ico Pro. Scarehouse. America's scariest hot. Uh, what's our next ad, actually? <laughs> Gotta do an Alfred, Lord what's Alfred Hayes voice. Ad? Now I have to, now I have to do it, right? Bold Sports. What's that? Bold Sports. Hey, calling out the Bold Sports. Our good friends over there. Great sports podcast as part of the Sorgatron Media Master Feed. If you're on the iTunes, Citrus Spreaker, uh, iHeartRadio. No, we didn't do that one, I don't think. Uh, Master but, Feed. The, yes, the Mum Master. The uh, you can also check it out at boldpgh.com. Talking Pittsburgh sports, general sports. And we had a great Super Bowl party with uh, the beverage manager of Penn Brewery. Our friends from Slice contributed as well. Uh, check them out if you like the real sports talk. Go check them out. I question the validity of real sports. Anyways. Football's a work. Football's a work. Don't get me started. Uh, but anyways. <laughs> There was an next bit. Oh, no. Yeah, the, the, the consideration I had was um, Lucha Underground just had a continuous season four with massive budget cuts. 
Mm -hmm. Obviously, Impact Wrestling has gone through this course a few times. Let's see how they do in comparison. Well, if they're able... Sharing wrestlers, too, aren't they? Yeah, Larry? If they're able to keep the name of their show for an entire season, I I think they're going to They're already doing doing better. Absolutely. absolutely. The bar's not set too high. No, no, no. They're already doing better right now. The massive difference is that even when Impact goes through budget cuts, the talent is still solid. Like, the the in-ring talent is still rock solid. Right. The only thing that Impact suffered budget-wise was just their production value, which is a big part of Lucha Underground, but the writing staff is way more evolved in Lucha Underground than in Impact Wrestling. So I think we're going to be okay. The nice mix of wrestling fan, of wrestling guys and, and outside-the-box TV guys, right? Which mm-hmm. that could go so many ways. But anyways, it is time. It's time. It's time. It is time. Chad the Shad, what is it time for? It's time for Mayhem Mania. Mayhem Mania! Oh, man. Oh, Emoticons man. for everyone. No, no. Smiley, no, smiley, no, smiley, no, smiley, no, smiley, no, smiley, no, smiley, teardrop. No. Chair, did you no. say teardrop? Teardrop. teardrop. Oh, teardrop. <laughs> Two tears in a bucket. Chad the Shad's in charge of Mayhem Mania tonight. That's right. You're, you're cracking the whip. You're cracking the Mayhem Mania whip, if you would. It's, it's hey, it's Mardi Gras, and you know who had a kick-ass Mardi Gras parade when he was champion? Huh. Edge. Edge. <laughs> he did. He did. He did. He pleasantly plump Tuesday. So, guess who's here to host Mayhem Mania? Not Edge. Edge. Edge? WrestleMania's, where's it going to be held this year? New Orleans. New Orleans. I'm here for Mardi Gras Mayhem Mania yeah. today. Yeah. All so the rules have been thrown out the window. I make them now. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a fun It's week. the game where match <laughs> rules don't matter. There we go. Yeah. So wait, wait, I on. do accept the bribes. Do we have to show our kids to change a match? Oh, man. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll tell you what. If you, doing, guys. if you want a match, fast card to the super card, just go ahead and PayPal <laughs> me a hundo, and uh, I'll make it happen. <laughs> Don't think I won't. <laughs> <laughs> he already throws money at this game. I, so. I'll just give it to you in studio. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, money oh, oh, talks. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Throwing around oh. money on this podcast. Oh, hey. A lot Dad, of Ted DiBiase's pay- just showed up. Chad, what's your PayPal? Just say it live on the air. <laughs> Everyone can I just, not just be getting donations. I, I don't have any Ted DiBiase's. I, I might think, have a few Virgils. I so. think you missed the fact that Billy Johnson is literally sitting here pulling his wallet out. <laughs> <laughs> It's right here. Well, I can't Everybody see has a price. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what is I'm Mayhem Mania, uh, Chad to Shad? Mayhem Mania is a fantasy booking that we do every year for WrestleMania. More uh, of a thought experiment, I'd it's, say. It's a exercise in mental gymnastics. <laughs> what? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Somebody just fell off. That the- is exactly is what that Mayhem Mania is. <laughs> is, it? It is. It's not quite a game. Is that what we've been doing? It's not really a contest. It's more like a competitive thought experiment. Uh, the object is to create the best WrestleMania card possible, not necessarily to predict what WWE will do, but to kind of give them an idea of what they should do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is not fantasy booking, as I've already ruined that by saying it is. Uh, <laughs> It's it's more like uh, reality booking. Any match created must have at least a chance of happening in this year's WrestleMania. That means all wrestlers come in in their current physical, emotional, and contractual state. Mm-hmm. So no Super Saiyans, no uh, no Super Saiyans, none of that, Jeez, no man, no Ker- no Kerwin White, no no none of this. Business. Uh, you could do a you can use him. Uh, I think. I think. Uh, uh, great. Now somebody's going to try to use him. <laughs> Thanks. Yes. Uh, anyone selected for a no. match must have a reasonable chance of being hired by WWE to appear on the real life WrestleMania card. Simply put, you are Vince McMahon with infinite cash and no self control. So really, or you Vince actually McMahon. are Vince McMahon. Because <laughs> he doesn't. He has a lot of money and no self control. <laughs> That didn't need explaining. So, we've already had two weeks of wrestling uh, of uh, Mayhem Mania. There's been some stabbings, some beatings, some uh, double crosses. Uh, La- Larry, I'm surprised you're walking about how you took it to the knees last it was, week. It was bad. You did. They, they it was jumped bad. you, you did. bad. Yeah, last week. yeah, yeah. 
I'll have my revenge this week, though. But oh. so shall I? Oh, this is what I like. This is what I like. Oh, 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 oh! oh. <laughs> Here we go. A little bit of greenbacks <laughs> over there. Um. <laughs> so uh, I guess I should recap, huh? Uh, yes. Uh, Mayhem Mania 2018 Week Two went like this. Move number one was made by Mad Mike. Uh, he uh, killed Daniel Bryan versus Kurt Angle versus Drake Maverick versus William Regal. That son of a bitch. Yep, yep. <laughs> and he created Trevor Ricochet Man versus Pete Doom. <laughs> That's how I always Doom. pronounce it. Doom. Like uh, the movie. Versus Move. the movie Doom. Doom. <laughs> <laughs> Move two by Sorgatron was to swap Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly for personal for, reasons for Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin, world's greatest al- American so, alpha. Boo, what's what's boo that match now? Boo accordingly. Why are we just calling them American Beta? Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Move number three was, was made by. Wait, 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 let's finish that. So it's them against the bar against the revival. We'll get there, Sorg. We'll oh, get oh. there. I'm the host. Oh, okay, okay. We go by my speed. Listen. Move number three was made by uh, the old Larry here. He killed Chris Jericho versus EC3 and he created Michael Cole versus you son of a bitch. Jonathan Coachman. Uh, move four, uh, Mr. Riz killed Lars Sullivan versus Bobby Lashley and created Triple H versus EC3. Um, move number five by David. David. David Fedor. David Fedor. Okay, got it. Uh, he killed Michael Cole versus Jonathan Coachman <laughs> <laughs> immediately. Son of a uh, bitch. Ooh, that's what Larry. What did really, he replace it with? He created Sasha Banks and Bailey versus Alexa Bliss and Nia Jax. So here's our card: Trevor Mann versus Pete Doom. <laughs> American <laughs> Alpha versus The Bar versus The Revival. Triple H. Versus EC3. Bailey, Sasha, versus Naya, Alexa. Finn Balor versus Alistair Black. KO versus Sami Zayn. Asuka versus Charlotte versus Ronda Rousey. And the last match here on the card so far is Rollins and the Authors of Pain versus our newly formed... The Bloodline, <laughs> Roman Reigns, and the Usos. Although I, I, I want to say, mention that we are not coming up with these names. Our graphic artist Tony Garza is as I, he's making these. I love the Bloodline. <laughs> I think that has legs. And if Ro- if Roman would ever stop trying to do things on his own, mm-hmm. uh, he, that's that's perfect. And they as look to with the, the graphic. They look exactly the same. They are a carbon copy of Roman Reigns. You just go down. It, it kind of is, like, yeah. It's Roman Reigns, and it's it's kind of it, like, like a foggy it, version of Roman Reigns. It's, it's like Samoan multiplicity. Yeah. It's, it's, if if you Jimmy know, and Jay Uso did the fusion dance, they would be Roman Reigns. You know, with each copy of something, <laughs> it loses a generational like it gets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that's what's happening here. There's okay. Reigns and okay. Uso, and it just kind of loses. It's like an evolutionary. Chart. Right, yeah, you yeah, copy of a copy eventually gets grainy and yeah. make it walk. Yeah. <laughs> and then you get the Michael Keaton that's all like hey, 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 hey. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I want to see that. Way, still all, all, bang Dandy McDowell. All I can say is I'm so still glad bang. I'm in studio when Chad's here. Mm, mm. Spoilers. I like I like his <laughs> oh hey Smith. Oh. Flattery is not wasted. Woo, boy, you're gonna get a good uh, good spot here when I pay hey, Hundo and a, a compliment, you know. They found me a Hundo. <laughs> that is that is a nice hat. <laughs> thank you. That's thank a very you. Nice thank hat. you. Thank you. I don't need to drown in compliments. I just need to float comfortably. <laughs> float comfortably. Do you need a shamwell? <laughs> like a lazy river. I need like a lazy river of of compliments. You can float on me, I'm a shamwell. So Shall we go earlier. with the fan pick first? Yes, yes. So, so we had people email. Sorry about the email issues. The good times uh, at wrestlingmanshow.com is is kind of 
funky right now. I'm trying to get in contact with GoDaddy to figure out how to fix it. So in the meantime, if you have an email for the fan pick, I think he wanted to keep doing this. Uh, send your fan picks for the next week to Mayhem Mania at SorgatronMedia.com. Uh, so we did have three fan picks, and we were to draw it out of a hat. I used a random number generator here before the show. And number two, which is the second email I have, wins. Uh, and we might touch base on what maybe on uh, Talking Mayhem Mania. We can see, uh, see what the other emails were. Maybe, yes. yes. Ooh, I like that. Um, I like that idea, Sorg. And the winner is Kyle Turner. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Kyle. Oh, no. no. I'm, I'm pretty Turner. sure he was the one that posted on the Facebook group that said someone was going to hate him. Oh, I well. Think, I think you're right. Oh, well, no. he says, as I look. Oh, yeah. And also, he's the longest email. Um, as I look over <laughs> what has happened so far in Mayhem Media, I see a ton of good matches. However, dot, 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 dot. I think we could create a few interesting matches that would be electric. I will say I haven't read these. I will only be able to give one. I'm guessing so. Uh. One, I'm guessing. So I will take out Rollins and AOP versus Roman and the Ooh. Usos. Wow. Oh, we just got done praising, praising the bloodline, Man. and now it now has been bloodline. donated. And replace it <laughs> with a match. That, uh, what's the blood type on the bloodline? Uh, negative now. <laughs> oh, no, it's Uso negative. <laughs> Uso negative. <laughs> Title. Um, and I'll replace that with a match that would showcase two of the most promising talents in the WWE and be a show stealer. I think it's time to let monsters collide on the greatest, greatest, grandest stage. So, dot dot dot. Oh, no. It will be. There's a lot of. There's a lot of. Uh, Ellipses. Yes. Main dramatic. Ellipses. It will be. Braun Strowman. Ooh. Facing off with the man that has been stealing the spotlight in almost every match he has been in, the Beast of Belfast, Killian Dane. God damn it! Oh wow! I approve. That, damn it! That's an interesting match. I approve. There you go. There you go. Um, also, and this is if he had a second pick, just for the heck of it. No, no this no, no, is no. this. That's Talking Man? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have that on rating. Talking Man. Keep, keep, stay tuned to Talking Man. So, again, his pick is Killian Dane and Braun Strowman. Chad? Oh, wow. Killian Dane. Here's my move. Braun Strowman versus Killian Dane has been added to the card. Yes, it has. In place By of way. the Bloodlines mm -hmm. and the Authors of Pain with mm -hmm. Rollins. Or hmm. Bloodline. Hmm. That's we where we're at now. That's where we're at now. But so, a lot of open wrestlers now. A lot of open. Now we're gonna get some we're gonna get some real mayhem into this thing. Oh god. So what's the order? The order is whatever I I decided. Oh, yeah, I, so. Okay, but it <laughs> usually tells us at the beginning. <laughs> no. Well, we ain't Larry's playing by match thing. rules today, <laughs> baby. The only one Larry's that we know is the Larry's Cars last rule. thinks oh, the Alex Cars rule. Yes, Alex. That is, that Larry is, is last for the Alex Thank Cars. Thank you, Alex Cars. Due to previous rules, <laughs> Larry will be last. <laughs> <laughs> where, so, where's so the, I can't I can't mix it up too much, but where's I like, the excitement? Do my well, bribes mean nothing to you? I like Larry being last because he has a vendetta. Who's so has, positive? With so that. let's go to. Uh, well, you're talking, Bobby. So we're just gonna go to you. You're next. All right, sure. You're next. I'll go next. What kind of mayhem are you gonna create for Mayhem Mania? Well, since one of the people I was gonna use was taken last time. Uh, Crimey River, come on. What matches are there? Real quick. What? We just, just went over all of them. There's oh. a web page oh, with all of them listed. Wait, I can't remember what I had for we breakfast. We need them written pull, down. You need to pull like up the, the please, please, pull up the Mayhem Mania page. Oh, yeah, that's right. Here it is. It, well, he can't see that. <laughs> no, I can see the Slack. I can see that, though. So. Okay. All right. All right, Bobby. Slack, come on. Slack. What we got? Uh, I know who I want to use. In the meantime, uh, what's the, what's, Mayhem what's Mania. What's the ladies' tag match? The women's what's tag, the ladies match? tag match? The ladies' tag match? Which one? Bailey and Banks oh. versus... What, we, we can't versus hear. Naya and Alexa. Jackson, yeah. 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 Jackson Bliss. Okay, take out Naya and Alexa. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, I, I, Bobby, I know. We're going to add the iconic duo in there. Yes! Wow! Yes, Bobby! Peyton Royce and Billy Kay. Wow, that, that's going to be Bobby, a show over there. There you Kay. go. Goodbye, Alexa Bliss and Naomi or Nia Jax. Jeez. Sorry, Alexa. Sore, come on. And, and, and Nia. 
Naya and Bliss are gone. The match is now Bailey and Banks versus the Man, iconic a lot, duo. A lot of eliminations here. What? Who's next? Is it? Who's, <laughs> you're who's pointing. Next? You're, you're pointing on a podcast. I, who's next? <laughs> just, okay. Okay. Uh, well. Flesh on all black. right. I'm Over looking there. at this landscape now. Where you go, Sword? I'm. You're, wait. Wait. Okay. The, the, you're, you're doing planning. You're letting them know. Okay. Okay. So so what am I gonna do? What am I gonna? Okay. That match is gone. What who's, that, who's after Swerk? So we have Killian Dane and and. And we don't have, right. we seriously don't have, how is that guy not in here? Hold Sorg on. was thinking about what I was going to do. There's, there's a lot of guys not in here. So. Yeah. I, yeah. So put them in. Put them in? Put them in. <sighs> don't go crazy. You can't make like a 40-man rumble or anything. But No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Carlin's easy. would get a little upset with me. I was like, you know what? Oh, oh wow! Yeah, I forty like, men. Let's do this. I don't, know. don't I, my don't my bribe mean right. anything? I see <laughs> so many matches. I see so many matches that I don't want to replace, but I do see one that I can sacrifice. So we have this match over here of uh, Triple H Ooh. and Ethan Carter the Third. I like what you're. I like where you're going. Sorry. Do you? Do you know where I'm going with this? Yeah. And we oh. know Ethan Carter the Third is very entertaining on his own. But can he can he take on the entertainer Elias at WrestleMania? Ooh. So Triple H Goodbye, is gone. Goodbye Triple H. Goodbye oh. Triple H. Triple H didn't have enough ba preparation for this to, match. Back, no, no, no. He's no. gone. Dun, dun, back to Gorilla dun. for him. And our boy Elias and EC3 I think could be an entertaining Elias versus EC3. Yes, E versus Elias E. Elias versus E. W. What, Rock with Elias versus EC3. Like it. W WWE. Yeah, WWE versus EC3. Wow. I like it. It's got marketing wow. potential. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Sorg, you might be a genius. Oh. But we'll find out wow. if it stays. We'll see how long it lasts. Ooh. Whoa. 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 This kitten's got claws. Throw some that, shade that, over here. That smells like a gauntlet being thrown. You wow. make him a co-host, co -host, and this is why he repays you. Man, Someone man. is next, and that is Billy. Well, I would love to do something with that. But there's another match on the card that I has got to go, in my opinion. Ooh. Mm. Got to go. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn has got to go. <laughs> oh. We've seen it 35 times this year. We don't need to see it anymore. Oh, it's it's got to go. I'm going to replace it with a match that I should have picked the first week. And it, the more I thought about it, the more I liked it. War Machine versus Sanity. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Wow. No, that's just uh, Eric Young and... Uh, well, yeah, it would yeah, have to be it would have to be Eric Young and Alexander Wolf because Dane is or yes. Nikki Cross <laughs> or Nikki Cross. Yeah. <laughs> she oh. is probably more viable than Wolf is. <laughs> there's, there's an idea. There's an idea. So who who from Sanity? And she has the best theme song. From what, Sanity. The, the left there was whoa, whoa, whoa. it's uh, Alexander Wolf and Wolf Eric and, Young. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Making it official on the board. So we have War Machine versus the Sanity team of Wolf and Young. Now, if something would happen that Killian Dane's match gets killed, I can add him back into the Sanity fold, right? It would be a turn, but yes. Okay. Yeah. Currently, he's yes taken. He, he's occupied. He's <laughs> taken. Well, who's next? Mad Mike. We're going to go to you. Wow. You're next. Wow. Oh, man. You are next. I, oof, I don't know what I want to do anymore because I was also going to take out the Kevin Owens Sami Zayn match. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tough oh, decisions man. tonight. This is, this is really tough. Is there's one match on here that I, I want to make, but I'd have to take out a match I do kind of like. Um, Do not dilute my revenge. <laughs> and it's, oh. and it, it's only week three. Wow. Okay, you know what? In, instead of making a new match, I'm just going to make an addition. 
I like it. We haven't had – well, we've had some additions. You're just going to make an addition to an existing match. I'm making, I'm making an addition to an existing match. Okay. Okay. Um, see, because I don't think we have enough crazy on this card. <laughs> I don't think we do. And I'm looking at Charlotte versus Asuka versus Ronda Rousey, and I think we need a little dose of sanity. Nikki All Cross right. is getting thrown into that match. All Nikki right. Cross is getting wow. thrown into that match. Because I want to see Nikki Cross like... just fuck somebody up. I just want to see, see Nikki, Nikki Cross and Oscar again. Yep, mm-hmm. that's kind of the reason I'm doing it. All right. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Nikki Cross and Oscar. Because I think still good. that's that's Oscar's best feud to date is Nikki Cross. So after after Mad Mike's edition here, we have Oscar versus Charlotte versus Ronda Rousey. Versus Nikki Cross. Okay, okay, I like it. Um, I'm going to go next. I I think here. Wait, you? Oh, wow. I make the rules. Is that allowed? Okay, all right, all right. I make all right, the rules. All right. That's why. Um, I was looking at some stuff, and then you know, instead of since I am hosting now, I'm not going to make a, a major, a major uh, shake up. I'm not going to eliminate matches. I'm not going to eliminate people. It's just. It's fair for me to just... I'm going to add, like Mad Mike did. Simple. Addition. Uh, this Braun versus Killian Dane here. Mm-hmm. It needs something else in it. Okay. It needs Bobby Lashley. Oh, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Damn it, if I ever get an eliminator, Bobby Lashley's going to be the one to go. <laughs> Have you seen a Bobby Lashley match in the last five years? It needs Bobby Lashley. I mean, he's not as big as he used to be. You clearly okay. have not seen a Bobby Lashley match in the past. I don't have years. to. I haven't seen a Bobby Lashley match in the past I mean, 15 don't years. Don't get me wrong, he looks big in person, but... Hey, I'm now, just adding um, him to the match. Chad, I like that, it. Uh, you guys, you know what that means, right? There we go. Hmm. Our emailer... Um, who was who that emailer, Sork? Um, that was Kyle Turner. Yeah, Alex Carr's rule. Th- is it because he added to the match? I added. He, d- he didn't eliminate it. Still it. Didn't he, survive. Didn't, he didn't eliminate it. No, it survived. It just adapted. Just I th- I evolved. Just really? Evolved. Yeah. It evolved. Maybe okay. So well, now we have Braun offici- versus Killian. I Dan think we need an official ruling. We'll get an that, official ruling from. Uh, I just from ruled. Like, Yo. Oh. <laughs> Overruled objection. Listen, wow. Mardi wow. Gras Edge is getting We're a little on edge right now. Now let's go. Let's go to our. We're we'll, we'll working out. We're working we out, Mike. We will let it carry for a little bit and see what Matt yeah, Carlin's, yeah, yeah. the judge, jury, and executioner, has to say next week. Judge Judy. Uh, execution. Producer Missy. <laughs> oh, that'd be a You're great out? tag team. So who's next? <laughs> is, it, is, is, is it time? <laughs> it's time. It's time. We've come to the end here. It's time All for right. Alex Carr's Brandon Vengeance. Larry, well, um, take it away. Brought to you by Occupy Pro Wrestling. I, I've been thinking about this for a whole week. and uh, Stew, Stewing, really. Stewing, yeah. And I think that I need to see a rematch of the match that everyone wants to see. No. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> no. Yes. No. <laughs> we are going to see Butterbean versus Bart Gunn. <laughs> And then, wait, you got, in place of <laughs> the, wait, 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 somebody give me a status on Bart Gunn. <laughs> He's an electrician. First of all, oh, first that's right. of all, friend of the show, Butterbean. That is true. You're calling out friend of the right. show. That's right. Butterbean, Butterbean has been go. on the show. Butterbean versus Bart Gunn, and it's... he is taking the place of Bailey. <laughs> And uh, Sasha, Sasha versus, versus iconic our, our, our duo versus Scorch the Roll. iconic duo. Oh no! Oh no! I will have my revenge. You just Alex Cars, Bobby F J Town. Mm-hmm. What did wow. I do to you, Larry? You diluted my revenge, sir. That match re- erased my match last week. Oh, okay, that's right. Well, I benefit from it, I guess. I was really worried you were taking out the other women's right. match. We we may have we may have a double Alex Cars rule next week. No, yeah. my more, apo- the more mayhem the better. My apologies that's to Antonio that's Garza. A, that's an Alex Clown Cars rule. <laughs> yeah, Alex so, Clown Cars. He's got yeah. his work, he's got his work cut out for him. <laughs> Butter good. Bean versus <laughs> Bart. Garner. All right, what's the breakdown now to the, there, the Chad? The funny part here, yeah, is if 
everybody just leaves this Butterbean Bart gun <laughs> match alone. <laughs> and it graduates to the card, the super. Card. <laughs> you will get to add a match stipulation for it <laughs> in the future. Because right now it's a wrestling. Right match. now it's just a match. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, Bart Gun has a chance. This <laughs> yeah. isn't a fight. Yeah. Right yeah. now it's a match. <sighs> Man, it's something to think about. Bart Gun has something a chance here, about. folks. Especially if this shit is WLC. Oh my god. <laughs> Butterbean ain't climbing no mini ladder, friend of the show or not. That's just not that's just not in the cards. <laughs> Be nice. Fantastic. So, so it's pleasantly plump Tuesday. Do we, do we, I'm saying I'm saying he's older, Bobby. He's older. Do we go down the list it's yet? Been a while. No, I can I can uh I we, can the, the, the final match the list time, is so The final mass match. Final match. Match list is Trevor Mann versus Pete. <laughs> American <laughs> Alpha versus the Bar versus the Revival. Elias versus EC3. Butterbean versus Bart Gun. <laughs> <laughs> One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> Finn Balor versus Alistair Black. War Machine versus the Sanity Team of Wolf and Young. Also Luffer. <laughs> <laughs> Sanity yeah. Wolf and Young. <laughs> Sanity Wolf and Young. Attorneys at Law. Wolf, young they don't get paid until you get paid. <laughs> 25%. Local, local joke. Oscar, Oscar versus Charlotte versus Ronda Rousey versus Nikki Cross. Braun Strowman versus Killian Dane versus Bobby Lashley. God damn it. And that's the card right now. That's the week wow. three Mayhem Mania card. Wow. Thank it's you so a, much, it's Chad, a pleasure. Yes. for presiding. Uh, mainstream Matt Anytime. will be confused when he sees how this shook out. Uh, let's be honest <laughs> yeah. about this. I, yeah. I hope really that- I hope Matt looks at the actual matches before hearing where they came from. Uh, How's please? Tonio going to find a butterbean? <laughs> oh, after his... After his... <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, hey, Garza, no, no, no. Garza, I know you're not listening. I kind of hope you just take a stick of butter, <laughs> use a plus sign, and put a bean. No, no <laughs> what's even better is when he gets the bark gun, is he just going to use smoking guns bark gun? Or... Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Hey. Yes. With the brim. The brim. All right. All right. Hey, hey, bark gun is one showing. 80s training montage away from being the old bark gun. Yeah, that's all it's, it's true. That's true. He's just going to be a hat. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. On that note, thank you, everybody, for playing along. And stay tuned for Talking Mayhem Mania. Um, so what did you learn from wrestling this week? Fellas, I learned. you turned the mic on and I learned that, uh, Braun Strowman can p- play the hell out of a cello. Yeah, he can. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he can. Man of many talents. To death. Get, get these hands. To death. The best segment in wrestling this month. Oh, this year. By far, yes. the entire year. I think, I think, so I far. think so. I think so. Yeah. Absolutely. Ron's new catchphrase should be, "Can I get a cello?" Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> catch or 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 catch these strings. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. um, hit him with the high note. Pete, Pete, uh, Pino also said in the chat room that Braun is all about that bass, no treble. <laughs> Billy, <laughs> um, I learned that I can go to an independent show in Cleveland and watch Ring of Honor on my phone in between matches and during intermission. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get into that. So they're they're putting on Fight TV, their house shows basically for free. They have the the Concord, North Carolina house show on live stream on Fight TV Friday night, and from what I saw, it was really good. And then mm-hmm. when I got home, I watched the rest of it on, on a replay. It was amazing. That's awesome. That's awesome. What about you, Chad? Well, <laughs> learned yes. a lot. To, learned a lot this week. Yeah. Um. I. I. I, the, uh, I I'm confused a little bit with how. Uh, how this last spot in the elimination chamber is going to shake out. Okay. Um. I really didn't like how Raw ended last night. Were the were the two of them 
double pinning and now both like, of them in. And I think they I'm did. A, I'm an, okay with that, but then like it just <clears throat> ended. They're like, well, well, they did announce on Facebook I, I right afterwards. God damn it! You know, on Facebook? yeah, yeah, they did. Uh, we what talked did, about what it did last they? Night. What did they? They did. They announced that both of them will be in. It will be the first seven man elimination chamber. You know what? I think it's going to start as a triple th- threat. As I lay, uh, as I yeah. laid in, as I laid in bed last night, just doing, <laughs> stewing over this before, not, before going to sleep, not checking Facebook. No, not checking no, no, Facebook. No, no. I keep the electronics away from my face at night. Yeah, yeah, it's better. For I you. need sleep. I need Helps sleep. with the complexion. So you just need all the I, I actually face. thought, why wouldn't they start the chamber match as a triple threat? Before I, I didn't know they did this already. I don't so think they I, announced it as a triple threat, but I'm assuming they're going to do that instead of spending thousands of dollars to add a pod. Yeah, no, I, I think a triple threat is a wonderful idea. It's never been done yet, and it adds another flair to the match. I'm cool with that. No. <laughs> Rollins, it adds a Rollins. Adds, it, they just keep Rollins. Charlotte's on SmackDown. They're just going to Rollins with it. Mm. I like Mike's idea last night. Two of them should be in one pod, and the, and the winner of the fight between those two get it, gets to go in. Just awkwardly mm. in one pod together. They don't like each mm-hmm. other, but, you know. Right? I, is Elias, Elias is going to play a song the whole time. Oh, he better. No, I hope oh. He better. Because he's either. last. So right, 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 just, right. I hope he has oh, no, a live mic. See, yep. Yeah. Just, I could see Braun breaking, like, him playing for about five minutes, Braun being released from the chamber, punching through Elias' chamber, and breaking the guitar. They did oh. kind of set the two of them up this week, didn't they? So yep. I I really like the Elimination Chamber. It's one of my favorite matches, mm-hmm. and I'm I'm actually really looking forward to the pay per view. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of yeah. fun. It's, it's and ladies be really too. Good. We got the ladies. Yeah, too. yeah. So. I it's I I'm I'm pumped. I yeah. enjoyed I enjoyed the Rumble. I enjoyed. I'm gonna enjoy this pay per view. I don't know about Fastlane, but at least this one. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I'm like, I I like this ramp up like, to WrestleMania. I've yeah. learned that I'm really enjoying. Um, I'm enjoying wrestling right now. Good, good. Yeah. No, no. Bobby, Le- Bobby, 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 Lashley. Bobby, 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 that's a finally they're releasing it on Rusev Day. Mayhem motherfucking bump. Yes, yes, absolutely. It's amazing, and and and, and I also learned that Bailey has a crush on him because she called him during the thing. Oh my god, that's funny. I love it. They just continued that whole mix match <laughs> well, challenge thing at the house show in Madison Square Garden. The match that I kind of want to see. I might actually go to the garden for this. Elias and Bailey. Versus, can anyone guess? Nikki and John Cena. Rusev and Lana. Correct, Amundo. Wow. Wait, no. No. Yes, correct, Amundo. Wow. <laughs> I kind of want to see that match. I want to that... see Bailey do the Maurice thing from <laughs> Total Divas. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> what? Total Bellas. Total Bella bullshit. Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow. All Jesus. right. All right. Uh, what about you, producer Missy? Got I an, learned we got an eyeball. <laughs> on camera. <laughs> Sorry, this is where things happen to sit. That's all right. Keep the mystery alive. Uh, no, I I learned that there was a lot of wrestling this weekend. Yeah, because you were at most of it. Yes, but I learned that I'm okay with it. Like oh. I I enjoyed the shows that we went to, mm-hmm. and I enjoyed being part of what we're doing with with local wrestling and it was there's some pretty cool things on the horizon with what we're working on and it's it's gonna be amazing and i i learned that i love that shout out to rise wrestling and uh black diamond here in the area uh some some fun promotions that are going on there bobby f j town no they already Ashley. bobby f mad mike uh, (laughs) bobby f mad mike yes um no i (laughs) Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> Hard no oh, from Bobby. Oh, wow. Right. Shit, I know whose match I, I know whose match I'm taking out next week on Mayhem Mania. <laughs> Seriously. He's Serious heat the there. Alec, he has, oh, he's got the sorry. last shot there. Last shot. Gauntlet thrown. Um I learned two things this week. I learned that um just when we think we get equality with the women and the men in WWE, 
The men get another man in their elimination chamber. Oh, well, maybe they'll get Nia in the other one. But they fucking should. Yeah. yeah. By the way, that'd uh, be awesome. Side note, um, thanks because this, these are the things that happen on Monday night on the wrap up. Uh, Matt, and Mike, and I have a, a ten bot bet. Yes, ten As bot you bet. Know, the the uh, bots the the Thai bots that I got uh, at, from Thailand that I never exchanged because it's too expensive to exchange uh, uh, was pretty much a dollar of bot, um, and the bet is he thinks that you thought that Cena was no no Roman Reigns you think that Roman Reigns is going to win the chamber I think oh, yeah. that yep. Braun is going to win the chamber can I get an I answer really I don't know if we can do a three way bot bet. I, I have sure, bots. Why I, have, not? I have bots from last year. You have bots? Yeah. Wait, you went to Thailand? Uh, no, I got them from you last year when I well, at the the uh, WrestleMania party. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. My bots well, are getting really around. Bet. Yeah, the Andre the Giant tournament. I love it. My Thai bots have been an actual robot. Oh, you, you want in on this? I went in on this. Okay, that means somebody's going to get 20 bots. Yes. I will bet an actual robot. I want to take The Miz. You think The Miz oh. is going to win? I want to take the right. Miz and, and qualify. Mad Mike doesn't want Roman to win. No, I don't want to be right no. at all. Yeah, I just know I am. Mad Mike <laughs> also presumes the worst of professional wrestling. Yes. Uh, so I learned. Well, I learned. I wasn't finished learning. Oh, sir. I'm sorry. Learn more. I, I had Learn two more. things. Um, I learned that no matter how good of a match Roderick Strong has, he will still not appeal to me at oh, all. Oh, that was such a great match on 205 it Live. Was, it was a very, very good match. Yes. But my God, is he. Like, and I, this is some, I am a man who loves vanilla ice cream. <laughs> I still can't get into Roderick Strong. Maybe if you add rainbow coloring to it. <laughs> That would be the Velveteen Dream. Are, are you saying? Are you saying Roderick Strong no, just needs a little color? Sorbet, sorbet. <laughs> you're right. You're right. That is raspberry sorbet. Wow. I learned that my 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 vote for Rookie of the Year at IWC showed up at Black Diamond Wrestling this past week. Uh, so the Beast Man who's come on the show was oh, reunited man. with his He's oldest back. fan. The T Rex is back, you guys. Oh, he man. is so happy. I understand, Billy. Were you telling me that he had no idea this was going to happen? He, he, he had no idea this was going to happen. <laughs> so the Beast Man won the Royal Eight, which this year was uh, described to me as a Haas tournament. Uh, so a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> If you're not seeing, uh, the Beast Man is a, a large gentleman that's basically a caveman. Um, and uh, and there's the the T Rex that you see everywhere. The suit, the, assisting him with the rope. The suited, the suited T Rex, the 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 blow up T Rex, is uh, reunited with him, and it was such a tender moment after such a long hard fought hard fought uh, uh, big guy tournament there. Uh, uh, taking out Peyton Grant in, in the finish. This is what happens in West Virginia, you guys. Uh, and it's pretty amazing. Uh, it was a lot of fun Aww. to <laughs> capture this as well <laughs> as they did the dinosaur. And there's a lot of hopping going on. Uh, so I encourage you to that also just, just keep an eye on IndieWrestling.us. This will uh, definitely be out a little bit as well. Uh, so I know Bradley, Heel Bradley out there was very excited. <laughs> I remember behind me, I just heard a, he's back! <laughs> 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 I was knocked him over too. What's that? It was knocked him over. Yeah, yeah. That was not an expert T Rex in there. So, <laughs> anyways, thank you so much, Billy Johnson, with us again. Thanks for having me back again, Sorg. What's your Twitter? Uh, Billy J sixty four, and you can find me on Facebook, Billy Johnson. There you go. Larry is still mysterious. Hashtag Girthquake. <laughs> still looking for your tag partner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I already have a tag team partner. Oh. Me and Mad Mike are going for those titles. <laughs> Mad Mike, does that make you Slyphoon? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. Oh. I, think by, I think by de facto it does. <laughs> Watch out, War Machine. There, there you go, Mike. You got a tag team partner to go after uh, War Machine. There you go. There you go. Uh, Bobby <laughs> J Town on the Twitters. Yep. Representing out of Johnstown, PA. Well, now I'm a Shamwell. Yes, Shamwild, J-Town. Uh, Chad, or, I'm sorry, Mad Mike, 4883. 
Yes, on the Twitters, uh, I, I occasionally talk about wrestling and things and stuff and bacon. Uh, bacon? Okay. Bacon? Yeah, no. Does who doesn't love bacon? Does also, Sork, you didn't say what people learned in the chat. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, well, wait, wait. wait I'll, I'll finish. Chad, the chat, chat is. Boy, Chad, the chat. Know, Mayhem Missy, uh, producer Missy wins Mayhem one Missy. Mayhemmy and she forgets the chat completely. Chad, the chat on the Twitter. Oh, oh. No, no, no. No, no. I'm kidding. No, no. I'm kidding, Missy. Sorg ignores me. <laughs> well, I, I, oh, okay. Emoticons are everywhere. Uh, emoticons <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, I'll add an That makes emoji. more sense. A lot of, um, a lot of from faces. the chat room. Uh, <laughs> uh, from the chat room. Tom Tom says it's uh, truly Doe is a write-in for best dress. Are these old ones? Did I refresh this or something? No. Uh, Brandon learned that the chamber will be upgraded to five pods next year if they keep having seven people in the match. Yeah, I definitely. Tina Wheels Keys learned. learned Tina learned that the road to WrestleMania is congested with multi-man matches. Mm -hmm. This is true. Uh, Wheels... Uh, Wheels learned that he... Oh, you go, go, ahead, go ahead. No, Wheels learned that he enjoyed dinner with the swords. Because uh, all... Yes, all kinds and, of emoticons. And, and Brandon also learned that he wants to see the Chelsea Green versus Laurel Van Ness matches. I match know, right? I need to see that. I need to see that because Laurel Van Ness was one of the only things that kept me grounded to Impact. Mike. I, I, I just need Mike, to see what that match is. Mike, we're going to see her in IWC twice in the next three months. Mm -hmm. Sork, Sork, we need her on the show. <laughs> I, I'm petitioning for her on the show. Um, give her. Either her or Laurel Van Ness. I will say, so. so <laughs> or, yeah, part one, part two. It, well, the, with her coming back, uh, because. I, I was in chat with her trying to get her on the show. So we well, already have inroads on that. And it kind of kind of cooled off, but now she's coming back. We're definitely going to see about her coming in. Maybe even because we do this around Mevo and in person, maybe we can interview Chelsea Green and Laurel Van Ness. I don't know if both of them are going to show up. You know, we can see what happens, Mike. Okay. Okay. Anyways, uh, thank you, everybody. We've already did that part of the show where I say everybody's I'm Chad thing. the Shad. Chad Bye. the Shad. <laughs> Chad the Shad. I'm Chad the Shad everywhere, pretty much. There you go. Everywhere. Yeah. PlayStation Network, Twitter. <laughs> Hence the logo except, on you. Except Facebook. Except, really? I, I'm not Chad Red the Shad on Facebook. Pornhub, That's, he's Chad the Shad. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Everywhere. Is there Chad the Shad on Pornhub? <laughs> I'm kind of curious. <laughs> no, why would I have? You can't have an account. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's even you know, with that share. Accidentally hit that share button. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to confuse those. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you next time. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time. Get it. Don't give up what you want. Take it back. Wait for the perfect time. Get it. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.